Auction time. We're probably gonna have to work around the lawnmower noises. I'll try to do this quickly. This is the 5Y series auction, 5Y01. This is the agate basin I did on video. Knife River Flint, Knife River Chert, whatever you want to call it. Or just plain old Knife River. All right, four and a half inches. The base is three quarters. The widest part is an inch and almost an inch and one eighth. Yeah. Nice translucency. Knife River has nice translucency to it. Yeah. So yeah, it's on video. You can see it from start to finish. It started off as a clunky piece. All right. 5Y02 is another Knife River Flint uh, blade. I'd made this on video as well. Okay, recent video. It's a, uh, let's see, what is that? Um, dum -dum 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 -dum. A little over four and five eighths. I can't think today. Uh, inch and three eighths. Yeah, it's going to look bigger than it actually is because my hands are small. If, you, if you're a big guy and you, you buy this and you bring it home and you go, it looks tiny compared to my hands, now you'll know why. Okay, just be aware. That's why I measure these things. Yeah, a little bit bigger than 4 and 5 eighths. What is that, 11 sixteenths? All right. 5Y03, another Knife River Flint Point. I should, probably should have shown the previous one. Translucency. Yeah. Now, this one, I forget the name of it, but I'll probably put it down in the comments section if I remember to put the name of this. This is an actual point style from the Northern Plains. I just cannot remember the name off the top of my head. And I wrote it down and everything and tried to memorize it, but... As soon as I turn the camera on, the mind just goes zip. Everything just uh, gets zipped up and I can't access it. I don't know why. Anyway. Did I measure it? 2 and 15 sixteenths. I showed this briefly. I think I made, might have made this. Yeah, this is, a, this is the practice piece on video. Yeah, but I think that's the latest video. I was doing this and then this morning I thinned it down some more and I added little notches. Yeah, it, it's actually very similar to an actual artifact type. I just forget what it is. Yeah, okay. 5Y04. This one I made on video, and I broke the tip off of it during the video. It, this is going to be smaller than it looks on video. Okay, it's a small little point. Inch and um, nine sixteenths. Little. A uh, little over inch and a quarter. No. What is that? Yeah. Inch and five sixteenths wide. It's a Georgia chert heat treat. It's a Jasper, not Georgia chert. Georgia Jasper heat treat. And it's got some translucency to it. And, and transparency also. It's got everything. Yeah. Cool stuff. All right. 5Y05. This one is made from hornstone I got from Brad Moore. Yeah. So what happened was uh, I had a flake of this stuff and I was trying to make 
a biface out of it and I think I broke off one corner so I said well the only way I can do a point from it now is to make a stemmed point so that's what I did so it's kind of an arty artsy type point I don't know if it resembles anything that was actually made from hornstone uh, let's see two and a half inches long but if there's a point style that looks like this that was made from hornstone that's what you can call it but I'm just gonna call it a hornstone stemmed point I tried to thin it down as thin as I could without risking it too much. So there you go. And last but not least, five Y06 box of Broxham bifaces. Uh, there's nothing wrong with some of these. Yeah, these are not broken. Uh, it's actually, I almost finished this one out. I was going to finish that one out. This is heat treated Florida petrified coral. Same with this one. These two are heat treated petrified coral from the same batch but still difficult to nap. So this one I was starting to get islands in the middle there so I just gave up and said I'll just sell the biface. It's still pretty tough. This is this down here is easier to nap than this up here right so the heat treat didn't affect everything in the same way but these are heat treated this one again uh, made from a flake but it was not uh, easy to nap even though it is a heat treat but this is further along than this piece so this is like a preform or you can just use it just like this if you wanted to or display it just like this it has some of the original flake surface here so it looks a little dirty right there I don't know what that is I tried to get that off but it, it's like a patina yeah let's see two and a quarter two and seven eighths this one is a this one is a Georgia chert heat treat three and a half still I ground down the edges but I didn't refine it it's just a biface this is Georgia swirl chert and it was getting too nasty so I stopped napping it it just it had a lot of issues I took most of the issues out but it still had some chattery things going on there so I didn't want to mess with it let's see a little over three to one eighth and there's a spot there that's crunchy and and uh, not very easy to nap It'll be crunchy. I try to take out as much of that as possible. It's 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 dry and it gets kind of crumbly and powdery. Yeah. And then there's this. What is this? Oh yeah, I was gonna make a what's it called a hag stone out of it because that goes all the way through that little hole. But as luck would have it, as I was working the the base, it snapped, and I didn't realize how bad it was as far as the weakness. But I was trying to make an arrowhead with a hole in the middle and you can see through there if you glue it back together yeah see you can see light through there anyways um, I broke this knife river flint on video yeah oh well I broke this one off camera this is heat treated Georgia chert or Georgia swirl chert. This is also heat treated Georgia swirl chert. And I don't know where the top half went. I might have actually made something out of it. But I'm going to include this anyway. All right, so there you go. It's just a small box. This box is only like six inches by four inches. Yeah, six by four and just, just tall enough to get these in there. I try to fill it up. Uh, so it's not overly full and not overly heavy because I send these regular ground mail not priority and it uh, if, as long as I keep the weight down it doesn't cost me more than seven bucks to send which is good because priority starts at almost eleven dollars for a box okay anyways rules these are my cheat notes there's a there's a better description in the description box below there will be an auction every Monday every Monday every Monday please look at my previous auctions to see how they work yada 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 if you want to read it you can read it 
bid in the comment section under one of my pre-populated comments. Okay, simple enough. I will like your comment if I see it. Sometimes comments are not always visible. Yeah, and I don't know if it's in the settings or what, but I tried to figure it out. It's just glitchy. YouTube is glitchy. Sometimes comments are not seen. Now, if you are wondering if your comment or your bid has been seen, look for the like. If it's liked, it's seen by me. Unless someone's a, a prankster and, and likes your video. Yeah, and it wasn't me. But if you get more than one like, you know there's a prankster on there. Because every time I see a comment or a bid, I'll like it. Now, if there's no likes on it, then you're in trouble. No one is seeing it. Ask, can you see my comment? Can you see my bid? As a question in the comments. Instead of bidding, put in the question, can you see my bid? If you still do not get a response, that means I can't see it. So either you can't participate in the auction because it's glitchy, or you keep trying and asking, can you see it? Can you see it? How about now? How about now? Now? That kind of thing. All right. Try not to bid at the last minute. Yeah, I don't prevent bidders at the last minute, and I don't do any fancy stuff to prevent it. But try not to do it, okay? Because YouTube's time tracker, the one that I use, is not always accurate. So even, even if you're on time, and even if I know you're on time, if YouTube says you're not on time, it's not going to count. But this pertains mainly to last-minute bidders, all right? So if you're not last-minute bidder, you don't have to worry too much about that. Okay. Shipping is free in the U.S. Oh, yes. Shipping internationally is not free. I'll add $10 or $20 depending on the weight of the package. I will provide tracking numbers. I accept PayPal, which is my preferred, Venmo, Cash App, checks or money orders, or a payment with electronic invoice that you can pay with a credit card. I can send you an electronic invoice. I also have just discovered, not just, but I've just now tried it. Uh, I, get, I can get uh, direct payments with paypal.me paypal.me if you need that i'll send that link to you if none of these methods work for you i can send that link through paypal to paypal.me link and you click on that and then you can pay all right i just i'm starting to use that i'm gonna, I'm gonna include it in the notes eventually winners will be announced at 901 p.m eastern time so pay attention to your time zone because it's different for time zones it, the winners will be announced at uh, 8.01 p.m. Central or 7 Mountain or 6 Pacific, right? The auction actually ends. I shut it off. It doesn't end. The the, you know, the video doesn't keep running for six hours. The uh, I shut it off at the top of the hour, and then I start announcing the winners one minute later. So I'll announce the winners at 9.01, 8.01, 7.01, or 6.01, depending on your time zone, okay? So that's very important to remember. You will be notified in the comment section if you are the winner. Yeah, there's no other way for me to notify you. You will be notified only in the comment section. Unless you've done business with me before and I have your info. Or you send your info ahead of time. You can send me your info ahead of time to jackcrafty2 at gmail.com. Jackcrafty, the number two, at sign, gmail.com. All right, if you're new... Just remember, you got to give me that information. I don't know who won. I don't know your real name. I don't know your address, blah, blah, blah. So send that to me by email. Okay. That's it. Uh, I read that kind of fast. I'm kind of in a hurry. I got to go. And um, hope you like this week's items. There's not that many. I apologize. But uh, hopefully next week will be better. Hope you guys had a good weekend. And good luck. <laughs>